you know, after the last fight, you admitted, you know, you were kind of burned out. You had just done so much, and it felt good to get away and be recharged. Now that you're back, you know, here in front of the press conference and getting ready for the fight, is is there a different feeling? I mean, do you feel re-energized and refocused, or do you still feel a little frazzled? Uh, no, I feel great for this fight. Uh, it's been a long layout between the two, and uh, I've really been able to reinvigorate my enthusiasm. And I think that uh, uh, GSP is kind of He's kind of right in that there's simplicity in the struggle and there's complexity in success. And uh, even though it's it's complicated, it's crazy, it takes a lot of energy. Um, that, that's the environment where I really thrive. And so um, I've been really been able to change it up and do a whole bunch of things in this last year. And I couldn't have been more excited to start camp again. You know, this is where I belong. This is where I feel right. In some interviews that you kind of create this rivalry with, with Amisha. Uh, back in the days where you decide to do MMA for a living. Uh, looking back, uh, would you still do the same thing? Or uh, did you think that this rivalry would be so big in your life, in your career? Uh, yeah, if I had to go back, I would definitely do the same thing. Because I think that's what really created so much interest for the fight the first time. And um, I think that if I, oh, if we didn't create that rivalry, I'm not sure if uh, you know Dana and the Fertitas would have been watching that fight in the first place because people were interested in it for some reason. And um, for the time, I think it was definitely exactly what was needed. Everybody was playing the Miss America card, and though there were great fights, no one was really watching them. So I kind of, I think a, a spectacle had to be created at first. Is it hard to keep motivating to face the same person again, like the same fighter again for you? Um, it's definitely hard to get motivated for the same goal twice. You know, I had beat Misha before, I've won the UFC belt before, and that's part of the reason that I went in to, to go film these movies before camp. I wanted to make it more difficult on myself. I wanted to do something that people would doubt. And I don't want to ever put myself in a situation where it's a lose-lose because if you win, it's like, oh, of course you won. And if you lose, it's the end of the world. I want every single time that I have a fight coming up, people to have a reason to doubt. And so that's what really made me super motivated for this fight, is I made it even more impossible for myself, and I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know if you know, but you have a lot of uh, Latino fans uh, that people know that you have a Venezuelan blood, eat your body. How do you feel about that? Um, well, it's it's really, really flattering. And, and it feels great that uh, when, when I was younger, people wouldn't believe that I was happy. I don't look like I look like my dad, and so um, I never really got any cultural recognition as a kid, and uh, uh, it's kind of a shame that people treat you how you look like, and uh, I, it, it feels great, especially on, on my mom and the Harbaugh side of the family is super excited about it now, and um, I have a lot of cousins and stuff still in Venezuela, and uh, it, it's nice to really be able to have a venue to you know re re regain a connection with my roots. The influence about the, the Glendale, the high stand up scene for you, the camp. Uh, tell us a little more about it. Um, well, wow, there's so much I could say. <laughs> but I, I, I guess I really just feel so honored that they, they brought me in. My, uh, my mom used to uh, train with Coco Chibichi in back when she was doing judo back in the 80s, and that's really the only reason why I was really brought in as a kid. And they always made me feel so comfortable and so respected and uh, it's so exclusive, you know. They don't really allow anybody in there. They really um, always help me feel special. And uh, the, the kind of real uh, loyalty and like just real strict morals that they seem to have, I just, I admire them so much and I really try to uh, adopt as many things as possible from them. And uh, I just have no lack of languages. I've been trying to learn Armenian. I, I'm, I'm not doing that well. <laughs> I'm not a, Marlouz, that, that's the one that I got right now. Every morning I got that one. So, um, but yeah, I'm very, very fortunate and lucky. And, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm planning a trip to Armenia very soon. <laughs>